Hello feline friends and welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking all about the Russian blue cat. If you're a cat fanatic like I am, but you or someone in your household has been cursed with cat allergies, you may be looking into getting a hypoallergenic cat. The Russian blue is one type of cat breed that is well known in this regard. But beyond their hypoallergenic and lotioning coat, they're also known to have a very distinct personality, which includes being somewhat shy but very intelligent. Before I got my cat Spike, I spent hours watching videos and reading blog posts about the Russian Blue, and I was really fascinated with how this breed was consistently described in such a specific way across different websites. But being a bit of a skeptic when it comes to generalizing cat breeds, I was really curious about which of these token Russian blue traits that Spike would actually have. So now that we've had him and gotten to know him for a little over two months, I thought it would be fun to share a bit about what I've observed so far. So in no particular order, here are the five most common Russian blue traits that I was seeing online and how well Spike actually aligned with each one. Trait number one, Russian blues love to play fetch. So this might not come as a surprise if you've seen our toy review video, but yes, Spike does in fact love to play fetch. His favorite thing to fetch is usually his toy mouse, but he'll also dig up my old hair ties and probe me to play fetch with him as well. To all of my ladies out there who can relate, I do have a chronic problem of misplacing my hair ties, so in addition to being absurdly cute, Spike has been very helpful in helping me dig up all of my lost hair ties around the apartment because I honestly don't know where he finds them half the time. Trait number two. Russian blues are shy until they warm up to you. I really thought that of all the traits I read about, Spike would exhibit this one because it was on virtually every website that I read. But I think Spike must be somewhat of an anomaly because since day one, he has been one of the most confident and in-your-face cats I have ever seen. Even during his car ride home, he was eager and ready to play with me in the back seat. And as soon as we let him out, he was already galloping across the entire apartment and cuddling with us about 30 minutes later. So as far as shyness goes, this would be a no for my cat. Trait number three, Russian blues pick one favorite person in the household. Our household really just includes me and my partner, so I was very curious to see if Spike would actually favor one of us over the other. So far, we haven't really noticed any favoritism, but I think this does go hand in hand with his confident personality, because he will really just try to cuddle or play with whichever one of us seems the most readily available. Trait number four. Russian blues will be hurt if they don't receive the attention they think they deserve. Okay, I'm not a cat whisperer or anything, but Spike definitely has some noticeable behavior changes when my partner and I are both busy and can't give him our full attention. At baseline, I'd say he's a very cuddly and sociable cat, but if we're both on conference calls or we're both eating, he'll crawl up into this tiny nook on top of the fridge and literally he will glare at us until we're done. I mean, his thoughts probably aren't as sophisticated as I like to make them out to be, but it's the cutest thing because the look on his face when he does this is just so sassy and I just like to think he's trying to guilt us into giving him some attention. Finally, trait number five, Russian blues are very intelligent. Maybe I have rose-colored lenses on when it comes to our little guy, but yes, I do think Spike is quite intelligent. He learned how to sit and give us his paw after a few days of training, and he's always looking for ways to satiate his burning curiosity. We recently had to put child locks on our cabinets because he learned how to open them, and he's demonstrated somewhat of an understanding on how to turn doorknobs. He isn't heavy enough yet to actually open the doors, but I'd say in another three to four months, I'd expect him to start barging in on our morning squats. So before we wrap up, of course it goes without saying that not all cats will fit every stereotype of their breed, and there are definitely other types of cats out there who share common traits with the Russian Blue. 
So let me know down in the comments below. What are your cats like? Do they have any of the traits we talked about in this video? Or do they have other traits that are unique to them? I'd love to hear from you all. So that is it. Thank you all for tuning in as always. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye y'all!